rates are north of seven and purchase applications are down but there's a silver lining i'll explain next you're definitely going to want to watch this one we're past the midpoint of the year and we've seen some interesting data and interesting trends in the market year to date so far with super volatile mortgage rates low inventory and some uncertainty in the marketplace and that's all normal when we're going through a shift in the market from where we were even just a year or a year and a half ago so as of roughly mid-july we're seeing rates come in about seven to seven and a half percent we're seeing inventory remain flat and even a slight decline in some places from the past week to this week coming off the fourth of july holiday and we saw purchase applications dip five percent week over week so here's the good news it was fourth of july people go to the beach they go to the shore they are doing things that are not their normal routine it's a peak vacation time and seasonality is back in the marketplace so if you're a home buyer or a home seller right now i would not feel discouraged by any of this data you almost have to throw it out and look at what's going to happen this coming week and there's even some predictions that we're going to see rates come down substantially in the coming years from morningstar a chicago-based predictions and investment firm that we could see rates in the 5% range in 2024 and in the 4% range in 2025. So all of this tells me a few things. It's more important than ever for you to assess your own situation as someone who's considering buying, selling, or not doing anything. Staying put is a great option for a lot of people because you may have a low interest rate on your home. You might have the ideal property where you want to stay a long time. So if that's you, don't worry about it. The market isn't going to affect your monthly payment and what you paid for your house. That's the good news. Now, if you are one of those people that is in a decision-making phase, I would look at the following questions and determine if now is a time that would make sense for you to transact. And it's all going to be based on your situation and your needs and what's best for you and your household and everyone involved in selling or buying a home right now. The first is, do you have the money and the cash to do it? Are you in a financial spot where it makes sense for you to upgrade, to downsize, to move to a different location where you're going to be happier or you're closer to family? And if the financials are there, great. Then explore a move if it's going to make you happy and be better for you. And if they aren't there, come up with a financial plan to determine where to go next. Now, if you are in the financial situation to do that, so that's kind of question number one. Question number two is this. Am I motivated enough to make the move? So you think about people that downsize. Is there a real need to downsize? Is the cost of maintaining the home too much for you? Is the burden too much for you? Is it something you no longer want to do? If the answer is yes, then explore a move. If you've got little kids and they're getting bigger, right? You need more space and you're tired of living in your current property, the answer is yes, there is a motivation there and a reason there to make a move. Is there a death in the family where a house needs to get sold because no one's taking care of it? Are your kids moving out of the house and it just doesn't feel right anymore? Maybe they're moving across the country and you wanna be closer to them. Are you in a financial situation where you need to sell? Is there a default coming? Are you behind on your payments? These are the reasons why you wanna consider making a move because of a life event that makes sense for you to buy a home or sell a home. And that's gonna be independent of whatever's happening in the market. And I always wanna bring this back to the buying and selling public because there's so much noise out there right now about how to time the market, what's gonna happen next year, what's the Fed going to do? And these are all relevant things, by the way, and we can get you educated on them if you're thinking about buying or selling. The first question and the first decision you need to come to is one, do I have the cash and the financial wherewithal to do it? And two, is it the right reason for me to make a move? Because moving's a hassle, moving's hard. Selling your home isn't easy. Moving into a new property and out of a rental can be a pain, but there's a financial benefit. And these are the things where having a local expert who understands your part of the market, that person can help you make the right decision based on what's best for you. The question you wanna ask is, what's important to you about the move that you're considering? And if it's that important, then go ahead because the rates are going to come up. Rates are going to come down. They always do that historically. There's some predictions out there where they're going to come down substantially. So you can always refinance if they do go down. If they don't go down and they go up, you've locked in a lower rate. So it's about what makes sense for you 
and listening to less of the noise and more focusing on what's best for you and your household.